Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to The Whiskey Frame with me, Alan. Here we are again, guys. It's a new week. It's another new video. We're back on the Glen Allakey. We're back on the Miko Tour. We're now tackling the big, big daddy of them all so far, the Turbo. Well, so I'm led to believe it's the daddy. It's the most smokiest. It's the most peatiest. It's, got, it's, it's driving out a level of 71 ppms. Has that 60 hour fermentation process and it has just a little bit of a thing about it. It has the, the cut, the spirit cut has been taken as the heart of the heart, which is the part that controls the highest phenol content levels. So they've nicked that part, they've matured it, they've mixed it with some mainland peat from St. Fergus. So it's all going on. I'm lucky enough, I've just managed to pick this one up because I've been struggling and struggling to get it. So I finally managed to get one. But in the meantime, I'm going to go through this sample that has been very generously sent to me. Just get that in there. Big, big props to the legend, Mr. Hamish Malcolm. You probably know him as Highland Hamish who very generously sent me this sample. So, yes, yeah, so no need to open it in a minute. So, yes, the smokiest of them all. Yeah, I've got a big whiff of that smoke. And this this is matured in a mix, a combination of three American oak, virgin oak uh, casks and five Oloroso casks. So, yes, there's a wee bit of sherry in it, guys. No apologies for that. It's the Glen Allakey, so I'm probably imagining there's some sherry coming around. But wow, that, that smells, that smells lovely, that. Sweet, sweet peat smoke. Big, don't get me wrong, guys, the big peat smoke, that campfire thing's going on. Wow. Not too sure how many bottles he's been made of this. I know it's a limited edition because it's real, real tough to get a hold of. Five years old, 71%, 71 ppms. Phenol parts per million, and it's no colour added, and it's non-chill filtered. It's five years old, very, very nice. That sweet peat smoke thing's going on, the campfire. But that lovely Glen Allakey characters there, the honey, sticky honey, some chocolate, some mocha, and some cinnamon spice. So the usual kind of Glen Allakey stuff's there. But as you dive into this one, that you can go over it. It is really quite sweet. It's nutty. There's some roasted nuts going on. And then there's this beautiful maple syrup thing going on. And some candied orange. So, yeah, lots and lots of stuff going on in the nose. Maybe a bit of old leather kicking around in there as well. And it's a little bit herbal. So on the nose, guys, it looks fantastic. It smells fantastic. Colour-wise, I'll just give you a wee quick look at that. Uh, maybe I'll pick a quick dram, but I'm blaming Hamish for that. Uh, lovely, lovely colour. It's got a real dark amber with maybe a little bit of burgundy hue going through that. Real, real nice. Lovely, lovely stuff. But, guys, let's dive in. Let's taste that. I'm going to try and make this lovely and quick. So, here it goes, guys. I'm going to send it down the hatch. Nice and responsibly, of course. Cheers. Mm. Wow, rich, oily, mouth coating, a little bit dry on arrival. But not for very long. There's a spicy arrival as well. A little bit of herbal on the, on the, on the arrival. Some spice, maybe some. A little bit of thyme kicking around in there. Lovely, elegant, punchy. So nice. Wow. Mouth coating. Starts off dry, then it becomes sticky, and then it becomes juicy. So there's, there's caramel. There's toffee, so much smoke in amongst it. The smoke is really, really prominent. It's very, very easy to sip, guys, considering it's 50% ABV. I'm amazed at how simple it was. 
so much smoke. The chocolate's there, the dark chocolate. Let me do another sip, guys. Let me do a bit of research. Naughty, spicy, that maple syrup thing's going on, the sticky honey, it's a little bit jammy, maybe a wee bit of red fruit going on, but it's spicy, it's smoky spicy, a little bit of charred spicy oak going on, it's, that orange is in there as well, that kind of candied orange, candied orange from the nose is now maybe a wee bit Juicy, sticky orange going on. Heading to the finish. It's so smoky. Bit of herbal. It's a long finish. Lovely sweetness to it. Very, very nice. I'm very thankful for Hamish. And I'm now very, very glad that I've managed to pick one of these up. So, so guys, what will we score this one? Miko Tor. Billy Walker's done it again. Five-year-old age statement. What do you think about five-year-old age statements, guys? I'm quite liking it, and the peated whiskies are quite like the young peated whiskey. Loving the sherry, all the rosso mix in it. I know some of you might not, but hey ho, it's my channel. <laughs> Only joking, folks. But no, it's wonderful, wonderful. Big thanks again to Highland Hamish for the sample. Really looking forward to cracking this open and getting into it and spending a wee bit more time with it. Uh, yeah, quality whiskey. If you're not a peat head, guys, and you're a sherry guy, like me, then you might be put off by this 71 ppms. I wouldn't, because it tastes absolutely wonderful. It's been blended beautifully with those American oak virgin casks and the Oloroso casks. The quality of it, it's so... It, it, it could actually become the peated dangerous dram. It's so, so easy to drink. Think it's my favourite so far. In fact, yes, it is my favourite. Yes, I hear you saying it's better than the the sherry one. Yeah, this is this is this is wonderful, guys. So yeah, wonderful, wonderful whiskey. What do we score it? I'm going to score this an eighty nine out of a hundred. And I think by the time I actually crack the bottle open, this could easily halfway down that bottle be a ninety one or a ninety two. So time will tell. If it gets that good some point later in the year, guys, I may come back and review it. I may do a little live stream at some point, trying all four of them together. Uh, that's a wee idea that's kicking around my head. But, guys, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. If you've liked what I'm doing, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And just a friendly reminder for me, it still doesn't cost you anything. It's still completely free, and you're still helping the channel out. I have channel memberships on the go. I have a Patreon page on the go. So there's all sorts of stuff. If you feel you like what I'm doing and we'd love to support the channel, there's lots of ways for you to dive in and help out. So that would be absolutely fantastic. Pop along, have a look. If you feel you want to join up, feel free. But other than that, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. Until the next time, guys, don't forget to send some great whiskey straight down the hatch. And always remember, the pleasure is sharing. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye now.